see what you guys have got for this one. What have you guys got for this one? Ten Jeff, ten hero kills, or I sub. Should sub anyway, Echoes. I mean, should sub anyway. Here we go. We'll get that predictions off the screen. It looks like 100% of you guys want Sarah Slayers to win this. You guys will get the payout if you do. But look at this here. We don't have any Sally. There is a couple of units of Berserkers, though. That's interesting strategy. IPGs, ISGs, Fort Abrasio. Um, Modals, these are the Claymore units, and uh, we've got Modals, you've got Palace Scars, you've got Javelins, you've got some Berserkers in there as well, it's going to be Adrian Reapers as well, so we're going to see an interesting matchup here um, to see what happens for Slavs, and most of them are going towards the B side, there is a couple around here going towards the far A side, and Surf Slayers have split themselves up from both sides here, A and B, to defend the points to make sure that they can slow down the, the push here as well. Couple more votes going towards uh, the predictions here. Where I get to ninety-one percent versus nine percent. So some guys wanted to get some of the in on that action of the of the payout here potential. You get get a massive return at this. A massive return. Let's have a look to see what you guys think. Okay, there is zoom out. It's get off of that. Go up in the air, and as you see. We are already in the air. And we'll go towards the side. They're starting to use the trebs on the gateway, looking to force their way towards the gate is the, the go-to position in here. And they're sending some people up the walls, Tao, over on the far right-hand side, trying to keep heroes around there as the majority of the team from Slavs is going towards that gate, trying to batter down the gate with all their heroes as quickly as they can. It only takes... A few minutes, well, a minute or so, just less than a minute, uh, if you use their treb and stuff on it. And as you can see, they start to filter their way in, but already there, Surf Slayers have a you know, Fort Abrasio watching that. We'll come on in the inside here. Lexu on the back here. A couple of heroes still over on the other side. Slavs start to make their way up towards B, but the rotation of Surf Slayers is following in behind them. The pre-treb here is going, is it going to be a nice one here? It hits a lot of the wall. I don't think very many will hit there. It might. The fight starts to get taken, but there's a good treb. Couple of units down there uh, as they start to make up onto the, the A point here. The unit wise are all getting wiped out though, and we have lost quite a decent chunk of units so far. Couple of heroes still fighting in the far distance there, but B will get capped. They've still got the unit modals up there. They're still going to be able to defend with that. But Surf Slayers can send herself all the way up them stairs well as quickly as possible. But B is defended fairly well there with their modals on the point on both sides here. So they managed just to keep that. But Surf Slayers think, right, we're going to go outside and kill the heroes that are still waiting outside. So they're picking up some hero kills. Van Blade is the first one here. He gets dropped there. A starts to get capped. But the guys from Slavs starting to make sure they get both points here. A couple of heroes over on the A side as the rotation is going to start coming in. Cersei so is going to have to come back in from outside under B as the boys from Slavs start to make their way up the siege towers here and start to make it towards A. Look, units wise, we're going to see a lot of people pushing down here. Uh, Cerslers in this view here, they're going to cap A as well. But Cerslers are going to use the supply point as the main defensive side. C has been capped as well. Cheeky general combo is capping C and everybody in Cersei start to rotate. Are they going to over rotate here? Probably not. They're going to call it. They realize it's only one hero. General combo is picked up, grabbed and Jackie Train's going to use his pike to demolish general combo down there but A will be capped in the distance there. The fight goes on. General combo does fall to his death but A does get capped. Slavs have a total of 11 minutes to cap C here. What is their go-to plan here? They're going to set up on the wall and start pushing all together with all their players. So far they have lost 200 units in comparison or at least it looks like 200 units. Yeah, 189 units in comparison to 56 units on the defense so far for Cerslers. So Cerslers doing all right. They're, they're not really losing much. Iron Beard falls to his death there from Socialist Hippie. But they start to get control of the wall. 
Getting control of the wall is quite crucial here, but they have to make an organized push from the wall. Supply point is key here as well. If you don't take the supply point, it's a long way back and it's a long and difficult position because they can just constantly filter out units here and bring them out to defend the point and stop people getting towards C. So as a, as Ser Slayers, they'll be looking to defend that point. And as you can see, they got units dotted all around it on the lead up towards C and their way in a position that they can rotate to the supply point. Everybody in Slavs is getting set up. All 15 of the boys are up on the wall here. There is nobody elsewhere on the map. They're all around A. And now they're starting to make that turnaround. Lufa is overextending himself a little bit here. Tinjev goes invisible. We'll knock him off his horse. De Derevi takes him off the horse as well. Lufa realizes he's in a bad position. He better get out of there. I don't know why Lufa starts to chase this one. He's getting himself caught out here if he gets go too far forward. The Slavs boys are starting to make it away. A different position. They're coming down the far left siege tower. Serslers start to maneuver their way around. And they're going to go come and try and flank up at the top. The right hand side stairways of A here. A couple of units going up. Kara's going up there with Silidars. And then you've got Slavs. Making sure Slavs rotate quite quickly around. They're starting to move back over. Slavs have got a lot of the boys of Sarslers moving. However, their rotation is probably a lot easier for Sarslers than it is for the boys of Slavs. Uh, Unit-wise, they've got walls to come down. They've also got stairs to go, like the walls to go across and then stairs to go down. It's a little bit harder than just going over uh, flat ground, you know. It's not much more difficult for Sarslers. And already, they're already rotated back in place. Slavs doing the same again here. Now it looks like they're sending all the heroes a lot more out here. It's a different strategy than we're used to seeing. Slavs pushing right around here. We're going to zoom in a wee bit closer here. There's no more heroes elsewhere on the map. Grim is picked off by Lixu. There's one hero disadvantage in the attacking side here. Now they need to try and find a way to pick off other heroes. General combo falls. That makes it equal. We're back to 14 versus 14 here. It's going to be a battle inside the gates there and inside the towards the supply point here. The Treb is coming in. They're trying to bait Trebs in here if they can. Will this Treb come in? Lex and the rest of the boys of Cerslers are being Trebbed in that little corner. It does hit a lot of the tree there though. But Slavs are just they're doing a different different strategy here. They're getting flanked around the side here though. You're Two areas in which Cerslers are attacking. And it's going to be an interesting people. fight here now. We're 15 versus 14 in favour of the defenders. You know why they're in favour of the defenders here as well. But now we're down to 14 versus 14. Socialist Hippie's going back to get some units as the fight entails down here. Let's see what we got down here. Downside with unit wise. It looks like there's a lot of Fort Abrasio javelins here and the names and kills are going even here it's 11 versus 11 down in this corner here if they could pick off grim who's respawning the treb's going to come into the new unit of palace guards if they can hold that off there uh, thank you for the follow as well Thank you for the follow there, buddy. Appreciate it. Long number. There's a lot of cavalry coming though now for the defenders. As General Combo has been that sneaky one again. He is capping the C point. It looks like the Cerslers have rotated out and killed enough of the units here that they can now rotate themselves back towards C to stop General Combo capping that. But unit-wise, quad kill goes towards Skir. Dvato cap is coming on. Poyeb as well. Thank you for the follow, Mashinima. Thank you very much. We This is a, a lot of heroes getting killed dead in the side of the attackers here. Slavs lost a lot of heroes. We're down to eight. It's 14 for the def, uh, the defenders here. They have a 400 unit advantage almost as well. And so far, it's 14 defenders resetting themselves up, ready for the next push. General Comp was still being cheeky, trying to get that supply point here. They've got a rotation coming in. Comp is going to come in around the back, but Lixu is chalked off. Chonk is also getting beat here by Lex here. He gets that kill, and it's going to be a really, really difficult, difficult situation here now for Slavs. Now, Cerslers can defend the gateway the here as a trap comes in. It's a good position for a trap here but I think the units will be moved off of that position prior to the trap coming in no not not at all some of them iron reapers fall to the trap there that is a nice little trap preemptively trap that as well from above but uh, we're waiting on the respawners coming in for slavs mark of greed hi mark of greed yo 
Doctor uh, Der Moti Gamer Zone, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the clan. Uh, you've got some units on the wall here. Kuaku, Lixu fighting on the wall here. Lufa, sorry. As the fight comes in the gateway here, we'll see the perspective from this area here. Cavalry is coming in from the right hand side. Maskless with the cav. It's going to come round and wipe out some of these units that are moving, but the cav do get stopped, and Madal managed to get embraced by the looks of it. It does look like some of the cavalry got through. C will be getting capped here. Hero is going straight towards C while the fight is happening. Just off of B here, the heroes are in favour of the Slavs on the C point here. If they can get that short sword off, but it's all about the rotation of Cerslers now. 13 versus 13 hero wise, the heroes and unit count is going in favour of Cerslers. And they've got a full on deathmatch here. Heroes on the point of C, but there's more units coming in for Cerslers. It's only a second needed on the C point, but so many people have swarmed to C. Unit wise are, like I said, in favour of Cerslers here. So that's going to wipe out heroes a lot quicker here. They are down to seven on the attack. Make that six. Tinjev with the quad kill. I don't think he's going to get them ten. I'm getting that. I'm getting that echo subscription by the end of this battle. Here comes another treb on the C point here, but this a unit of cavalry on the point. I assume that cav will get out of the way, but the treb does come in and hits a couple of the cav. God of War goes into Tinjev. He might still get this. They're back with new units. It's three hundred and three. Versus 701 units here. Six trebs still available, but hero wise are down to four, and there's nothing that Slavs can do at this point. 420, we're on 420 minutes. Uh, this is going to be a defending. The units are staying on the point. And a couple of heroes making sure General Combo is still, still trying to be cheeky so he can cap C here. But with 269 units versus 701, this looks like Cerslers has this one in the bag. Tao has already left the battle. I don't think he wants to continue any longer. The boys have left and decided that is GG. They have left this out to dry here and decided... They don't want any more of this fight. Cerslers have dominated their defense. 695 units versus 269 units. All of the boys have started to leave the battle. And that is it. What a valiant defense. The rotation from Slavs and the interesting strategy from Slavs to come down that far uh, side of A was very, very interesting. But did not work in their favor. The Trebs didn't come out. And Cerslers... Pick up that win. What a battle it was from Cerslayers. They did a fantastic job of it. Deep Conqueror, thank you very much for that hydration. We will get the hydration in. So Rudgers picks up the MVP on the attacker side. Didn't get any hero kills, but got 65 unit kills. Circle with the four hero kills here. But like I said, it's all about hero kills quite a lot of the time on these pushes. If you're going for a push and it's almost 15v15, you have to be killing their heroes first or else you're going to lose that battle. End of, you can see on the other side, Kara with the five hero kills. Let's see where Tinjev ended on. Tinjev didn't get, he only got six. That means the subscription. Oh, I want that sub. I want that sub, Echoes. There's that sub. I want that sub. Echoes. It's not 10. It's not 10. You called it. Tinjev gets 6 hero kills. Carol with the MVP though with 5 hero kills. 96 unit kills. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. Fantastic fight there. Uh, very well done from Surf Slayers. They did what they had to do. Corn Berserker with 4 hero kills. Socialist Hippie with 4 hero kills as well. OP with 5. And uh, yeah, overall, post-match analysis will show, say all what we can see here. If I can get it to work. There we go. Uh, hero kills, yeah. There we go. 34 hero kills in favour of Surf Slayers against 